It's Child Tuesday once again, and with all of the devastating flooding recently, it's important to make sure your home and family are protected. Attorney David Ayler joins us now with more. Welcome. Good morning. Glad you're dry and safe yeah, through all of this. Um, let's talk flood insurance. The big question through all of this, do you think you know, the majority of people have it? A lot of people don't have it, you know, in case unless their mortgage uh, makes them have it. Essentially, mm -hmm. it's part of the requirement, uh, depending on what type of zone they live in, uh, people don't get it because mm -hmm. they don't feel like they need it. And they mm -hmm. unfortunately may feel different about that now. Yeah. So, you know, because of the rain, right. will these people be covered? Well, what you first got to look at is what you're trying to get covered. Um, you know, the insurance companies are going to be very particular on what they do and don't cover. It's not a blanket type of policy. Mm -hmm. uh, you may end up even having to do some litigation, get some attorneys involved to help that process. Um, because what they're going to look at is determine, one, if you don't have the flood insurance, is there any way that it can come under your homeowner's insurance? Sometimes it can, sometimes it can, but it's going to really be specific to what type of policy you have. And a lot of people really don't know what kind of policy they have. So the people that are recovering right now, I mean, what's the whole process? obviously the cleanup and you know right. to get through all this their safety but then you know what do they do they, they call the insurance company the insurance company calls them right well first thing you want to do is even before you start the cleanup you want to document every single thing in regards to the damage that you've seen that's related to the flood and of course the trees and everything else has come from it uh, then after that of course once you have started the cleanup yes you want to get in touch with your insurance company get your policy out kind of know what you're looking at before you even call them because again their job is to cover what they have to cover they're not going to go beyond that they're not charitable organizations sure. and unfortunately sometimes it ends up being to where there has to go all the way through some type of litigation mm -hmm. uh, to try to fight that another important thing is if you have something on your house uh, something that happened at your house mm -hmm. that occurred from a neighbor's property uh, obviously we have a lot of trees that are down mm -hmm. and if those trees were in someone else's yard or in their property and it fell into your property line that actual claim should go against their insurance not yours mm -hmm. uh, you know a lot of these homes don't live by the water right they probably assumes I don't need it I'm never gonna flood right going forward people that didn't flood might be reevaluating their situation. Flood insurance yeah. overall can be very cheap, right? A absolutely. It's very inexpensive compared to the damage that you're seeing now, uh, particularly annually a year, it's just a couple hundred bucks at most. Mm -hmm. um, and again, if you're farther away from flood zones, it's even cheaper. But you see what happens when these type of rains can come. And unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be very disappointed when what they have, some serious damage related to the flood, that they're not going to be able to get covered. You know, they're calling this the 1,000 year flood. Right. So chances are we won't see something like this again in our lifetime. However, do you think a lot of people are just going to consider it would be a wise idea, even if you made it okay through the storm, right, to call and yeah, reevaluate? Absolutely. You know, unfortunately, sometimes it takes traumatic situations for people to reevaluate what type of insurance they have. We see this happen all the time with motorcycle and car accidents mm -hmm. where people have limited coverage. They get hit by someone who has limited coverage, and then their bills aren't paid, and they say, hey, I didn't have enough insurance. And it simply comes down to understandably the price point of what you got to pay per month. But then when you look at now what can happen if you don't have it, it's definitely worth that extra bit of money. I have another question. We were just talking. We saw a car. There's video of a truck driving right. into flooded water. Did you see that? Right. He yeah. got washed away. He had to be rescued. Will his insurance company see that? I mean, obviously, he was dumb to drive right into that. Right. Can he file a claim and get money for that? Or are <laughs> they going to say, like, look, you're stupid? Well, a lot of times, uh, depending on what type of uh, car insurance you have, whether or not they'll actually uh, you know, consider water damage, mm -hmm. but they're absolutely just like a car wreck where they ask you what happened. Mm -hmm. They're going to know exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. They're not just going to take your word for it that you, you know, went into the wrong street and sure. hit a puddle. Mm -hmm. So they're <laughs> going to try to deny some of those policies too. Okay, going forward, do you think we're going to see a lot of um, attorneys? You're going to get a lot of phone calls from all of this and. You know process going to take for recovery. I think you are going to see a lot of litigation end up happening on various levels, whether it be cars, homes, businesses, that sort of thing, because there's going to be this push and pull between uh, the people that are trying to make the claims and, of course, the insurance companies. It'll take several months, if not years, to get everything completely worked out. So if you get to a situation where you can go ahead and make that claim and they're covering it, you're in a good position, because unfortunately, a lot of people won't be in that same spot. All right. Attorney David Ayler, bottom line, it would be wise to look into flood insurance. Absolutely. Right now. Good idea for all of us living in Charleston. All right, stay with us. The Common Race for the Cure is less than two weeks away. We've got all the details after the break.